Distinguished guests, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. My name is Greg Miller, and as Stephen noted, I am the Vice President of the Institute of Engineering Technology of Ontario, otherwise known as AIDO. And AIDO is OSET's certification arm. It is my great pleasure this evening to preside over the next part of these ceremonies. The presentation of the fellow OSET designations to five worthy certified OSET members. I should point out that these five are the first ever recipients of this prestigious honour. First, some background on this designation. A certified member who was nominated for recognition as a fellow by at least five certified members in good standing. 90% of votes cast by a quorum of council shall be required to approve this designation. The fellow OSET designation is the highest and most prestigious membership category. The nominee must meet one or more of the following qualifications. Significant achievement or contribution in the field of engineering technology or related field as evidenced by technical accomplishment and or service to the engineering technology community or the public, such as significantly advancing the cause or knowledge of engineering technology, for example, protection of the health and safety of the public. Outstanding dedication to the profession or to OSEP, or making a significant difference to the profession. Service to not-for-profit organizations or the community. Devotion to professional duties over a long term or for a single act of service. There are no minimum number of years of membership that is required. And the nominee's accomplishment, deed, or achievement may have occurred prior to them becoming a member of OSAP. I would now like to call upon the stage past president Rod McLeod. We will now present the fellow designations in alphabetical order. And I would like to ask past president McLeod to make the presentations. And I would ask that the fellow recipient come forward after his accomplishments have been read. Just before I do so, I just want to read out the certificate. This is to certify that the fellow member was admitted to certified membership of the association on the 23rd day of October 1984 and having demonstrated significant achievement, contribution, and service to the profession, and in recognition of the esteem in which he has held its members, and has been involved and has been honored with the status of fellow OSAC, given under the corporate seal of the association this 31st day of May 2013. In alphabetical order, the first fellow OSET is Mr. Bradley G. Arnold, CTEC. Bradley Arnold has been a member of OSET for seven years. He is the president and owner of Bradley Mechanical Services and Pipe Shield, a division of Bradley Mechanical Services, employing more than 40 employees. Established in 1985, Bradley Mechanical Services is a Canadian-owned company and provides HVAC and conventional plumbing services. Pipe Shield Incorporated specializes in non-destructive, environmentally responsible, and cost-efficient pipe rehabilitation techniques for residential buildings, government structures, schools, and hospitals. In 2010, Consulting Engineers of Ontario awarded him the Award of Merit for Industry, Energy, and Resources for Modeling Epoxy Lining Procedure in Pipelining for Work Done by Brad's Company. 
In 2011, Brad was awarded the OSET, the OSET Outstanding Technical Award in recognition of his outstanding technical achievement for the pipe shield epoxy lining process. Brad holds many technical certifications and licenses and has taught at Sheridan College and has published and presented seminars on the greening of buildings and mechanical systems. He is a dedicated volunteer working with various groups, including the Peel Regional Police, where he has volunteered as an auxiliary police officer for eight years. And for the Vancouver Olympics, where his well-honed management skills were put to good use, overseeing the transportation requirements for two venues in training and managing staff, including over 130 drivers. Mr. Arnold, congratulations. Hello. Just want to thank the council for uh, accepting the recommendation of the committee. Also want to thank my sales manager, regional sales manager, who isn't here tonight, um, for nominating me and putting in the application form. And uh, we continue to conduct research and development uh, every year, and spending over half a million dollars on uh, SR and ED, and continuing to make advancements in the. Uh, trenchless and or uh, pipe rehabilitation industry. So we're gonna, gonna be here for a while and a long time to come and getting lots of recognition for what we're doing. Thank you very much. Our next fellow OSET is Mr. Thomas Stewart Baxter, CET. Stuart Baxter has been a member of OSET for 43 years. Stuart Baxter was made life member in 1988 and received the Blake H. Goodings Award in 1997. Prior to stepping down from active participation in January 2012, Stuart gave much of his time freely and generously to OSET committees. Stewart served on the AIDA board and was on the AIDA executive from 2007 to 2011. He was a member of the admissions committee for more than 20 years and chaired the second review committee for more than a decade. He was the senior final reviewer to whom the most difficult cases were referred to. He was an executive member on the nomination committee in 2003 and a guest of council from 2001 to 2005. Nationally, Stewart dedicated much of his time to national accreditation and served as president of, of CSET in 1993 to 1995. As OSET's representative on the CTAB board, he conducted numerous national accreditations. He was instrumental in kickstarting accreditation in Ontario visiting colleges to assist with the national accreditation process and submissions of programs for review. Stewart also played an important role in the development of the national technology benchmarks. He served on the PEO OSET Joint Management Board in several capacities from 1998 to 2007 and was the board's chair from 1998 to 1999. Mr. Baxter, please come forward to be recognized.
can't do anything. Sorry. served on many OSET committees over the years and was acting executive director. He received the OSET Merit Award in 1986 in recognition of outstanding service to OSET and in 2000 received the, National, the Niagara Engineering Award of Merit for exemplary leadership and achievement in the Niagara community through innovation and service to raise the image of engineering to the public. In 1990, he received the Illuminating Engineering Society Award for Design Excellence in 2003. He received the John Furlong Memorial Award from the Institute of Chartered Engineers of Canada. Gibb is also a member of several technical organizations and holds many other certifications and life memberships. He has been and continues to be a lifelong volunteer donating considerable time to the Red Cross, serving on disaster service teams, and in many roles assisting the U.S. Veterans Administration. In addition, he has given significant time to the community's young generation, in particular uh, scouts and sea scouts, where his expertise in numerous licenses in both power squadron and sealing have been of great value. Mr. Bradbury, please come forward to be recognized. I'm honored to be here tonight with serving members. Stuart, thank you so much for getting up. Honored guests, President Morley, past President McLeod, Penumvirate, past President Dave Saunders, fellow members, guests, distinguished persons. Well, here I am. All things are possible. Yesterday I arrived in Florida business attire, shorts and a short sleeve shirt. Obviously I stood out, but that's nothing new. After it's actually 47 years, I believe, with OSET, I'm still active. <clears throat> I currently serve on the CSA Committee for the Canadian Electrical Code Section 74 Committee, and I'm active with the Institute International Association of Electrical Inspectors in this regard, and I'm still conducting that review. I specifically work with youth in the STEM program in scouting in the United States. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. It's a major initiative by Boy Scouts of America, funded by General Motors, Exxon, Hewlett Packard, and others. In my instance, enabled to get youth more involved, I solicited services from the Institute of Engineering Technologies of the United Kingdom, who donated $1,600 for us to be able to get four LEGO robotics kits and a programming computer. And our membership in youth went from five and a failing cup pack to 30 and 79 total register in one year. Now that's not due to me, that's due to everybody that support it. And from my examination and work in OSET, I learned that if you put your heart into it and you work with fellows such as I have in the past that are dedicated to what they do, you can continue by calling on the dedication of the engineering and technology community. <clears throat> this next month, actually in July, the IET will have a Present Around the World presentation by college third-year youth, and they compete locally, regionally, nationally, and internationally. 
and for North America, it's going to be held here in Toronto. And I would suggest that we have our membership attend. Not only for the fact of being able to see what youth are doing today to reinstill the values that we like, but also to see how other organizations in the engineering and technology field work. The IET registers people from national certificate right through scientist and meshes all in between. And I am proud to be an incorporated engineer with that organization. I'm also proud I've been able to do some sales with OSET. My grandson Joshua started in Niagara this year and when I found out that he was paying his own way for the uh, tuition, I was able with the help of Sam and others in the OSET office to have him have his membership paid for the three years that he'll be in school. So we have one more member for OSET. And that brings me to the major thing that I want to talk to you about. We have nine past presidents that serve on committees in OSET that have dedicated years and years of service. And why have they done this? Because they believe in what we're doing. We need to start earlier in our sales and interest in engineering technology. At the grade school level, at the Cub Scout level, at the Girl Scout level, Brownie level, we want to have people know how we are as engineering technologists. It isn't by the sales or the, or the internet or the other things, it's about personal involvement. Do you help somebody in your area and are you an example as a technologist? To an individual, to a small group, they will learn more from your involvement personally than they will learn from anything else. Take the time out to put yourself out as an individual with youth, with college students, mentor them, talk to them about the fun of technology and engineering, because it is. I've loved every minute of it, all the way along. I turned 70 this year, and I'm not stopping, because I can see what's coming up the line. And I wish you all the best in doing the same. Thank you for the award. Thank you for not wearing your shorts this evening, too. <laughs> Our next fellow OSET is Mr. George A. Fletcher, CET. George Fletcher, or Mr. OSET, has been a dedicated and inspiring member of OSET for more than 50 years, shaping the face and course of OSET. George has made, was made a life member in 1969 and he received the Blake H. Goodings Award in 1989. He has served as OSET President, OSET Registrar, and on several committees, including the Strategic Com the Strategy Committee, the Examination Committee, the IEDL Board, OSET Administration Board, the Admissions Committee, and was a guest of council for many years. In 2002, George was instrumental in the negotiations with the Ministry of Transportation of Ontario for setting up the guidelines, requirements, and processes for the Road Construction Administration Program, and he continues to meet with the MTO officials and reviews road construction files as a member of the Admissions Committee. He was one of OSEP's first appointees to the National Technology Benchmarks Committee in 2003 in 2004, when it was decided that new standards for certifying technicians and technologists need to be developed. To date, he plays an active role in the review and improvement of these benchmarks. George also developed a process and recommendations for recognizing programs in India, a commendable contribution to the AIDO academic database, and the Carol and George Fletcher Foundation is named in his honor, recognizing worthy engineering and applied science technology students for excellence. Since its establishment in 1987, over 330 bursaries have been awarded. 
Mr. Fletcher, please come forward to be recognized. I'm very pleased to see that OSN has finally inaugurated the Fellow Award. I think it was in, in, included in the Bylaw 18, which was approved, I think, in 1998, if I remember correctly. And uh, I think it's now great to see that it comes through. I'm very pleased to be awarded one of the first memberships as a Fellow. When I look back over the years, 1962, when I first got involved at the tender age of 22, uh, all of the people on the council at that time had gray hair like mine is now. <laughs> and over the years, we saw lots of younger people get involved. There are some in this room that I think I coerced into getting involved, like Stuart and Trevor and perhaps others, and many others, I think, over the years. It's a tremendous thing that the association has been doing over the years. My number is 2248. And now we're into the 80,000 numbers in terms of those people that have got involved. You know, when you look back at what we've accomplished over those years, the association has made tremendous strides. When I see what we have today in a professional meeting like we have today, and I look back at the meetings that we had back in the 60s, when uh, almost all of the contribution was voluntary contribution. It's great to see that we've progressed to the point where we have a staff that is very professional and that can do a great job for us. And I think the only thing we can say is that there's still lots of growth to go and uh, I hope to see that uh, it does go that direction. Thank you very much. The next fellow OSET is Mr. Robert G. Jameson, CET. Robert Jameson has been a member of OSET for 31 years. He is the president and CEO of the Canadian Instrumentation Services Group, a successful business in Peterborough offering calibration services critical in the startup and maintenance of electrical generators to ensure safety, reliability, and viability. Developing this homegrown technology and serving the needs of domestic and international companies speaks to Bob's business acumen to maintain Canada's manufacturing and competitive capabilities and to secure foreign markets while providing stable, high-paying jobs for technology-competent professionals. In 2005, his company won the Peterborough Business Excellence Award and the Ontario Global Teachers 2005 Regional Bronze Award. As chair of the OSET Peterborough chapter for many years, Bob invigorated the chapter and promoted OSET at every opportunity, including providing his business boardroom for local chapter meetings and making financial contributions. He has served various advisory committees of Fleming College and contributed financially to the college's development and enhancement of his technical training. He has been a volunteer for the National Engineering Challenge, as well as the Boy Scouts, served as chair of Kawartha Manufacturing, and has been a public speaker for the Rotary Club. Mr. Jameson, please come forward to be recognized. Well, thank you very much. I'd like to uh, 
hopefully do three things in very short order. When I uh, arrived back off of a business trip from Virginia about a month ago, uh, I had a stack of mail that the office handed me, and, and on the top was a, uh, a letter that had a Canada Post sticker. It looked like a registered mail sticker. And as a business owner, and as someone that travels a fair bit, the last thing you want is someone to send you mail that you, that you know that they want you to get. <laughs> Suppliers usually don't send you checks, registered mail. <laughs> um, so I went into my office, I sat down, my heart was pumping and I'm thinking this is either, could be good news but more than likely bad news, not knowing what it was, turned it over and it was OSAT. And I'm thinking this is either really good news or really, really bad news. <laughs> so anyways, I opened it up and I, and I was shocked. I was very humbled. Uh, I was very honored. And as anyone knows, if anyone's uh, had the opportunity to work with me or visit with me, I don't stay in my office very often for very long. Um, I hate paperwork. Um, uh, I know it has to be done, but uh, I, I like getting out and doing the work. Um, unfortunately, I stayed in my office for a couple of hours. I thought about all the people, like our, my fellow members here that have been honored, and, I, and all the members that have gone before me, uh, some of the professors I had, instructors I had, teachers I had, fellow mem uh, family members I had, that have done so much more than me. And when I listen to all of the acumens that have um, been said tonight about a number of our great members, um, I, pale, I, I, I fail in comparison, I really do. I just uh, do my job, try to encourage people, and, and try to uh, do the best that, that, that I can. So when I was at lunch about three weeks ago, um, I went into a little diner where I normally have lunch. The waitress asked me how I am, and I answer as I always do, I'm perfect. And she says, you're perfect again, yes? And I said, I am. And a fellow sat down beside me and said, so how can you be perfect? And I said, well, I'm not perfect, but I'm having a perfect day. And he says, well, why? I said, well, first, I've got my health, relatively speaking. Um, at least physically, mentally, I'm not sure, but I'm at least made it till noon hour. And I said, I have had a job that I have appreciated and enjoyed from, from start to finish. And I said, I've worked in the field of technology, and he you know, wanted to know what I did, and I sort of explained that. And I said, but I have met so many wonderful people in, in, in the engineering, technology, and trades profession that have all been professional, they've been all well trained, and they do a very, very good job for both themselves and society. And I feel it's very important, and I ask you, when you go home tonight or tomorrow, or you're sitting having a, a cold one on the, on the patio overlooking the lake, or when you have some t quiet time, think back of all of the people that have, that have inspired you or have educated you, or all of the benefits you've gotten from the technology world technology sector and give back whether it be like Gibbs said give a little bit of time or give to the Fletcher Foundation so we can give out some more bursaries but give back because I would I would challenge anybody in this room or any of our members that couldn't say that the technology sector of this world has given them a good living so I thank you very very much and I'm very very honored and I hope that I can continue living up to the acumens that have been said tonight. So thank you very, very much. Congratulations to all of our new fellow OSET members. Thank you, Rob. Before I conclude, I would like to thank the member of the o fellow OSAC committee and ask that they stand as I call out their name to be recognized. <coughs> Rosanna Baggs, CET. Patrick Ng, CET. Andre Tardif, CET. Christopher Van Dopp, CET. And Ron Walker, CET. Thank you very much, committee members.
I'd also like to thank the OSET staff uh, for all their hard work and dedication behind the scenes and made the decisions and the debate of the committee that much easy. Thank you very much.